The breach of the Alau Dam in Maiduguri, Borno State brought about anguish, sorrow and uncertainty to the residents of the state. Floodwaters have taken over their houses, leaving them with no option but to move to safer ground. Some of them, mostly the elderly, women and children, were evacuated. Aisha Ali, a victim, says she found herself in a difficult situation. It's very terrible, very terrible. I never pray for even my enemy to experience such a thing. For you to leave your home without any single thing, just with your own personal clothes, is not, a, is not something to, to pray for anymore in your life. More than 400,000 people who were displaced are being sheltered in night camps in Meduguri. An air survey carried out by the United Nations World Food Program showed that food, shelter and clean water are the immediate needs of the people. You know, the flood has affected them. Uh, they can't have access to their banks even. So what we decided to do is to give 10, 10,000 naira to each of the head of household, both male and female heads household. This is what we are doing. Then subsequently we'll distribute food and non-food items to all of them. So far so good. Uh, we have mobilized cooks and they have started cooking food in this camp. The WFP established kitchen in three camps, providing meals to the displaced persons. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations said floods in the northeastern states of Adamawa, Borno and Yobe states have compounded the food security challenges in the northeast. United Nations organizations therefore appeal for more funding to support the ongoing humanitarian response early recovery, including food and non-food items.